Hey guys, what is up? It is LegoBuilder4 here, and I am finally back with a new video. Today, as you can see, I am going to be doing a LEGO Series 19 review, because after, I know I'm a bit late on this, but I finally got all 16 characters, and I am ready to do this. So let's start off with character number one, the video game champ. I personally uh, am a big fan of this character. I really like this new remote control piece and I really um like the pr I think it's series 16 but I uh, don't quote me on that but this is a reference from one of the previous series that was a minifigure there um I believe there is a second face yes so that is his other face he's like all smug like oh yeah I'm about to beat you guys or there's his very serious face like it is about to go down and on his his uh, chest piece, he's got that little Lego head with the headset on. His sides, he's got some printing on the on his arms and on his back. And that is the video game champ. Character number two, the shower guy. See right now, he's got a little comb and a little duck, and he's all embarrassed because he. I guess someone must have caught him in the shower. His other head is he's all smiley and happy. Uh, I guess he's like singing in the shower probably. It's what the comb's for. Yeah, that's definitely what the comb's for. And he's got this little uh, cloth that goes around him with ducks on it. Little towel, I suppose. Character number three, the Fright Knight. Um, he has this bat shield. A uh, queer, hollow... Translucent, that's the word. Uh, translucent sword and translucent feather on the top of his helmet. That's his face. And if you take his chest plate off, you will see that he even has some printing on the torso. And yeah, that is the Fright Knight, character number three. Number four is the Monkey King. He's got this little uh, new double-sided, new uh, split cape. He's got a little brown tail. Um, I I personally do like this new brown tail. I think I like the how it goes down instead of up, like a lot of the tails do, and it's kind of, it's a lot smoother. Like usually the Lego tails are bush are like bushy, and I just like that this is more smooth now. On the back, he has dual. He has a dual mode, du dual molded legs, brown on the top, black on the bottom. That's the front of him. He's got this big red feather. And he also has a second face, all smiley and happy. Probably just threw some poop at somebody. <laughs> and then, yeah, he's got a little staff to whack people. Because, you know, Monkey King, gotta show some discipline to people. Character num- Oh, sorry. That, I knocked over video game champ. Okay, so character number five, the programmer. She has this little MacBook here and a little uh, drone, or not drone, little buddy that she built. And if you look at her torso, fun fact, that code spells out Lego. And her she also has a Second face, another smug face. Probably just beat someone in a math competition or something like that. Character number six, the mummy queen. Um, this is the mummy queen. It has a golden scorpion. Nice little touch. Uh, and she either has her golden face or her mummified face. Pretty scary. She also has uh, some molding on her arm. The back is pretty much the same as, is almost the same as front. See how it has like a, she has a little beetle necklace. Sorry, it's hard to see, but you can kind of see it on her front. On the back, it's just the rest of her like golden necklace. She also has dual molded, dual molded legs here. And that is the mummy queen. Character number seven, I believe. Yes, character 
number seven, the Jungle Explorer, has comes with this little chameleon. I don't have a Lego chameleon yet, so this was nice to get. Um, I like this uh, more. It's a more recent Lego backpack, and uh, I don't have one of these either. Uh, lots of new stuff that I got here. And if you look at the magnifying glass, you will see that the magnifying glass actually works, which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, no molding on the arms or anything, but on the legs, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I guess you can kind of see it. It's black on top and brown on the bottom. And he does not have a double-sided face because, you know, he's wearing a hat, nothing to cover that. He has rope around his torso, um, little opening in front, and yeah, not my favorite of the series. Actually, I should have said this earlier. The Fright Night character number three, that's my favorite of the series. I really like how Lego throws a few knights in every couple series. Some guys, some people, um, I've seen our YouTubers do reviews, they don't like, some people don't like having a bunch of knights in this multiple series, but I personally like it because I've always been a medieval fan. Um, but yeah. Next up, character number eight, we have the, f we have our uh, firefighter. She has that face, or a uh, little well, serious, or her, like, all in command, t probably telling people what to do. And on the megaphone, she also has that fire department uh, logo. She does have a little bit of molding on the arms, little like bracelets. Probably not what they are, but that's what it kind of looks like. Um, she has molding on her legs as well, little band that goes around. On the back, she has her fire lo her firefighter logo. And yeah, that is the firefighter. Character number nine, we have the dog walker. Uh, she's all, like, grossed out right now because she has to carry up poop. Um, you get a wiener dog, which I think is new. I really like that new dog. And then you have the white bulldog. I don't have a white bulldog yet. I don't know if it's been released earlier. But, um, yeah, it's always nice to get new pieces, especially new Lego animals. Back to the dog walker. She comes with a shovel. She has dual-molded dual molded arms, white at first, and then, like, her skin color, yellow, classic Lego color. Dual-molded legs, white, blue, and white. And on the on the side of her legs, she also has that little thing there. And that's the front of her. Her torso, her torso is just, like, a little a gardener or something. That's what it reminds me of. And her other face is, like, she's all happy to do her job. And, of course, disgusted because... She has to clean up poop. I would not like to do that either, personally. Okay, so character number 10, we have the pizza costume guy. He's got a little sign with pizza on it, asking if anyone wants some. It's $1. It's a pretty good deal for pizza and $1 burger and fries. That sounds pretty good to me. I was kind of, this, I'm going to be honest, the pizza costume guy, he's my least favorite of the series. And hopefully you guys already know why. See, he just has, he has a plain, he has a plain torso. Nothing on the back, nothing on his arms. It's just plain. I personally feel like Lego could have done some more molding on the front of him and on his torso. Then just, I think that would have been better in sleeving it plain. So that's just like a big disappointment to me. And I've never really been a big fan of the whole costume people. But... I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, got the little legs there. Not, It's not dual molded or anything, but it does have molding on it. So, yeah, and that's the pizza costume guy. Moving on to character number 11, we have the galactic bounty hunter. He has a sign that showing want, oh, sorry, showing wanted, and it is for 300 million uh, studs, which I think is a pretty good deal, and it says built or broken on it, too, so it must be a robot, <laughs> that's his face there, and 
he does not have any dual molding on his legs, no molding on his arms. But I do think that this is a pretty cool character to have. And comes with a black gun as well. And uh, yeah, he has this new. Uh, he has this little shoulder pads on his um that goes with him, and I really like that as well. I think it's a cool touch. Moving on to character number twelve, we have the gardener, and uh, she comes with two of these little plant things in her hands. That it in the here it shows that she only has one, but it comes with two, so I guess it's an extra piece. I just wanted to give it to her, and this is the and she comes with a flamingo. Which is a really cool. I am very happy to get a Lego Flamingo. I think that's awesome. <laughs> Dual mold molding on her arms. She's got her little t-shirt. And then her skin color, of course. Classic Lego yellow. And uh, on her legs, she's got that little... Uh, poke, not polka dot. <sighs> but anyway, my, yeah. Uh, that's her legs. And then her little torso there. Looks like she's got, like, a little hoodie on or something. And I don't think... So. Yeah, she doesn't have a second face or anything. And I really like this big pink hair piece that she comes with. I like that. And I like the uh, eye and glasses look. Uh, I think that's a nice touch to it as well. Character number 13, the rugby player. I've gotten four of these characters total. And uh, I'm kind of upset about it, honestly. I'm, I mean, it's not that I don't like the rugby player. I think it's cool. I like getting the little Lego football, even though it's not football. You could prop, you could use it as a football if you wanted to. So, yeah, it's like, I like that. But getting four of them, I mean, I could probably start my own 2v2 team. I could do that. And I don't really know what I would do that for, what I would use that for, or why I would do that. But, yeah. So, anyway, I got four of them total. This is one of the four. Not really a big fan of them. I mean, I'm okay with getting one of them. I definitely like the football. And I like the dual molded arms. And I definitely like that. You can see it has a six pack on his torso. And he's got that little uh, green on the top with a little like shield defense. Um, But yeah, I just gained four of them. Seems like such a waste of money to me. The second face, he's got a couple teeth knocked out. All hurt. Black eye. It's pretty bad. Rugby is a very dangerous sport. Character number 14. So, this is the reason that I did not post this video sooner. Or make this video sooner. This character took me so long to find. The fox costume girl. It took me so long to find her. It took me weeks and weeks until I just got to the point where I just specially ordered it. I know I'm pr I'm not ha proud of it, but my uh, um I was able to find a great deal for only eight dollars, so I just decided to order it online instead of going through more and more and more just trying to find it. Because I kept either mistaking that I was looking for the chicken. I was trying to feel out the chicken. Because I don't have a Lego chicken. So I'm happy to have a Lego chicken finally. Unfortunately, I did not get multiple of this character. I only just got this character yesterday. I kept mistaking the chicken for the duck that comes with the, sh with the shower guy. Or I sometimes mistook it for something else. I don't remember what it was currently. But <laughs> yeah, I just kept... Getting the wrong, I kept thinking I was feeling it, and then I was wrong. I looked for the pointy ears with the fox costume. I just could not find it. <laughs> this is getting pretty long on just saying this, but yeah, anyway, so moving on. She comes with a little bag to wrap up the chicken. Um, of course, that bag doesn't open. You can't actually put that chicken in, but like, that's the purpose of the bag, I think. Dual molded legs, orange and black. I think that's a really nice, uh, Two colored leg, dual molded leg covers. I really like those. Um, I like this new dual molded bushy tail with the orange and then white. I think that's could be pretty useful in mocks or making custom characters. Um, 
And then she also has a second face, so she's your, like, mmm, delicious chicken. I mean, uh, can't blame her. I'm a big chicken fan myself, yeah. Or she's like, ooh, I finally found it. How am I going to trap it? Mm, what to do? What to do? And so, yeah, that's the fox. That is our uh, fox costume girl. Took me forever to find, but I did it. I mean, I didn't find it, but, like, I got her. And now I'm, here's the video. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, yeah, fox costume girl. Number 15, the bear costume guy. Um, so he comes with one heart. It shows that only one, but it comes with an extra one. So I just put it on the side. Um, you got one. So you've got the two hearts. This little rainbow. Rain, and it's got rainbow and heart on his, um, sorry, on his torso. Two different colored, not dual molded, but different color arms on each side. One arm, one arm is pink, the other arm is orange. That is his face, all happy and joyful. And then he also has another face. So it was like all, ooh, ah, or just like happy and looks kind of like sympathetic or something to me. And then two different color legs. You got the orange and the light blue. And that is the bear costume guy. Last one, number 16. This was a character that I did want um, out of the series. And it was pretty easy to find. All I had to search for was a second bag and a huge bike. So it was not that hard to find. I got her on the first try that I found it. Um, moving on to review. Dual molded arms. I mean, covered arms. Pink and the classic yellow skin color. On this arm, it so not only is this arm dual molded, but also has a bandage on it, which I really think is cool. Not so dual molded and printing, that's that's a pretty nice touch by Lego in my opinion. Dual molded legs, move to the back. You can see that more clearly without the printing. Orange and light blue, and uh, I'm sorry, did I say this is the mountain biker? By the way. I don't think I said the name. This is the mountain biker. Sorry about that. Okay, anyway, moving on. Um, has some knee pads. That's her torso with the, like, tire marks going across her. Don't worry. I just think that's printing. I do not believe she was actually run over. You had this huge little mountain bike, which previously was only available in one Lego set as the time this video being posted. So I did not get that set, so I was happy to get this, the mountain biker, and get this bike because I think it's pretty cool. She has her, uh, I also like this helmet hair piece that comes with, and then she's got two, two faces, either the glasses or the, yeah, let's do it kind of like face. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I have not posted a while in a while. I plan on posting more and more, especially starting in January when all those new Lego sets come out. I'm going to start doing some more reviews. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.